I'm going to show you how to transfer photos and videos from your Google Pixel 6 or the 6 Pro directly to a Windows computer or laptop using the charging cable. First thing I want to mention is the cable that comes with your Pixel 6 or 6 Pro is a USB-C to USB-C. The thing is on my laptop here, I don't have a USB-C or a Thunderbolt 3 port. So my other option would be I can use my little adapter here. It's a, it's a USB-C to USB-A. I'll put a link below where you can get this. Or your other option is if you have another cable laying around that's a USB-A to USB-C. I have this from a different phone. I, I'll go ahead and link um, below in the description where you can buy these as well if you prefer this as well. Okay. Anyway, so first thing is I'm just going to go ahead and use this. I'm going to go ahead and connect this to my USB port in my laptop here. Next thing is, I'm going to go ahead and plug in my phone now, plug this in here, and then go ahead and sign in. Now you may get a message here that's saying I trust this computer on your phone. If you do, go ahead and click on allow. Now even though my, uh, my Windows laptop found my 6 Pro, you can hear that ding. The thing is you're not able to transfer until you do this, okay? So go ahead and slide down notifications. And now while this is plugged in, now you can see it says right here, charging this device via USB. Go ahead and tap on the uh, little down arrow right there. And then you want to tap on tap for more options. Tap on that right there. And then you can see by default, it says no data transfer. What we want to do is go up here where it says file transfer slash Android auto. So let's tap on that. Now, go ahead and open up your file explorer on your Windows computer. It looks like a little yellow folder like that. We'll open that up. And now on the left pane here, we're going to go ahead and look for your six Pixel 6 or 6 Pro. You can see mine says uh, Pixel 6 Pro. Let me go ahead and click on that. And then I my double click on my internal shared storage. And now all your photos and videos that you've taken is under the DCIM folder. So double click on that and then double click on your camera. Now I only have some photos, not many photos or videos on here. I can tell that these are all photos because it says JPEG file and I have one video here because I can see the little video icon right there. Okay, so from here you can drag and drop it to a folder. Uh, you can even uh, drag and drop it onto the desktop like this and let go. Or what I typically do is I'll just go up here, I'll make a new folder here, and I'll just call this one Pixel. So new folder is here, and then you can highlight whatever you want, or you can just do the whole shebang like that. Drag and drop into the Pixel folder right there. Go ahead and let go. Go ahead and let it transfer. There we go. Transfer is done. I can go ahead and unplug my phone now. Now if I double click that Pixel folder, you can see I have those photos and videos in here. From here, I can go ahead and save it to my computer. I can go ahead and edit it, email it, or whatnot. All right? Pretty simple. All right? Good luck, guys. Bye.